In this video, I'm going to talk about the best transfer-proof liquid lipsticks, the ones that have the best formulas that not only do not transfer, but also do not dry the lips. I'm going to show you lip swatches and also tell you about the best application methods of liquid lipsticks in mature skins like mine. Hi, my name is Marisa. Thank you for coming to my channel where we talk about everything beauty and lifestyle focusing on over 50 issues. I have to confess that I am and always will be a bullet lipstick lover, but I've come to realize in the last two years that there's certainly a place in every woman's beauty collection for a couple of liquid lipsticks because everyone has situations, especially at work, where there's no possibility to check if the lipstick is running off of our vermilion borders. And of course, since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, the use of masks has made the transfer-proof lipsticks absolutely a must. As a supporting artist, I've not been authorized until now to join any filming crew without wearing a protection mask. And so in the last two years, I've tested quite a good number of different formulas and I'm here to show you now the results. And the order in which I'm going to present them to you will be from the least to the most expensive one. All the products that I'm going to mention in this video will be listed below in the video's description with prices and links for US, UK and some of them are worldwide which will be indicated with the word global. The first products I have to show you are these ones from Maybelline. It's the Super Stay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick and the Maybelline Super Stay Ink Crayon. I have to say I like both of these. This matte ink has a very nice comfortable formula, not drying at all. It's lightweight, it spreads very easily and thinly on the lips. This Dofu applicator is one of the best that I have tried. It's very pointy and allows a very precise application. This line has a huge range of colors. And I certainly like this nude very much. This is the shade 65 Seductress. And this one, in me at least, stays a little bit tacky throughout the entire wear. It reduces as time passes, but not entirely. But to be honest, I even like this formula more. It's also more original and this is the Superstay Ink Crayon. I love the fact that you don't need a lip pencil for this one because the point it's very precise. It also has a sharpener in the back so you can make it uh, sharper uh, on the go. It has a very interesting formula, super lightweight, super thin, glides on the lips marvelously. Clearly it has silicones and hopefully some oils in the formula. I need to check the ingredient list to confirm. So I really like these two formulas, especially this one, and I will wholeheartedly recommend it. The next one is probably, in terms of liquid lipsticks, my third favorite formula, and it's the Uda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipsticks. And I find that these lipsticks are amazing. It has a slight smell of vanilla, caramel, with a hint of alcohol. But the, the lipstick is extremely comfortable, very lightweight, very velvety. It has almost like a cushiony feel on the lips. The Dofa applicator is very precise, very easy to use in the application. This is one of those that I don't wear with lip pencil because of the color and because I find it very easy to have a, a nice shape with it. I find that it does not completely dry, it still has a little bit of tackiness uh, after about five minutes and perhaps that makes it less transfer proof than some of the others that I'm going to mention next. But I'm perfectly fine with it. I make sure that I use a very thin layer and uh, remove any excess. The color will still remain there because they are very pigmented and it will become transfer proof. 
So definitely one of my favorites, the Uda Beauty Liquid Matte. I forgot to mention that the Maybelline ink crayons and the matte inks also have a caramel vanilla scent. I like the, the scents of these two and the Uda Beauty. I don't have any issue with them. They don't have any taste whatsoever. My third favorite formula is the NARS Power Matte Lip pigment and this one is amongst my top three favorite liquid lipsticks. It has the thinnest, thinnest formula. The Dofa applicator is minuscule which allows for a precise application. It's extremely liquidy but actually doesn't run much. I apply it uh, nevertheless with a lip pencil. It has a slight scent but it's not a fragrance, it's the scent of the ingredients but it fades extremely quickly and it's barely noticeable. Super pigmented, super lightweight, very very comfortable. Really really like this one. My next favorite formula is the one from Pat McGrath Labs and this is, prepare yourself, the Liquid Lust Legendary Wear Matte Lipstick. Let's call it the Liquid Lust for short. And this is another of those very lightweight thin formulas. A little bit like the Uda, but less moussey than the Uda Beauty. Doesn't have a scent or a fragrance, but I can, I can feel a little bit of alcohol that dissipates very quickly. Applying it in a very thin layer, it dries very quickly, as it would be expected from a Pat McGrath product and it's completely transfer proof. doesn't dry on the lips, it's very comfortable. She has a huge number of shades, the one that I have is called Divine Rose and I pair it with the lip pencil also from Pat McGrath and this one is Bare Rose and these two go perfectly together. My next favorite formula is from Dior and this is the Dior Forever Liquid and this is again one, of course one of my favorites. I find it very similar to the Pat McGrath. It has a very pointy dough foot applicator just like the Maybelline which allows a very precise application. In terms of feel it's very similar as I said with the Pat McGrath. Doesn't have any smell, doesn't have any scent dries quickly but it's comfortable and it will be completely transfer proof. I have the shade Forever Grace and I like to pair this one with the Lisa Eldridge lip pencil in the shade Blush. And I find that this pencil from uh, Lisa Eldridge is also a very good match for the lipstick that I'm wearing which has the peculiarity of being transfer proof but also glossy as you can see. And I'm talking, of course, as you can guess, of the Chanel Le Rouge Duo Ultra Tenue, which I'm sure you know. This is a much beloved product by everyone and with reason. It's also very expensive, but it's true, it's a unique formula. It has on one side a doe foot applicator in which we apply the color. And then after it dries a little bit, we have a um, brush on the other side with a gloss and this gloss has two functions. The first one is to seal the color in and it's the gloss that makes it so comfortable. It feels like gloss. It's a beautiful, beautiful formula or formulas or combination of formulas, if you will. I have several shades. This one is probably the one that I use the most because it's very close to my natural lip color. But I also have this beautiful red, which is in the shade 47 Daring Red. And this is a perfect red lipstick for Christmas time. I confess that when I need a transfer proof liquid lipstick, I will normally reach out for one of this Chanel Duo Ultra Tenue, unless I need one that is absolutely matte which happens, especially when I'm doing work as SA. I would also like to leave these two formulas, the Fenty Beauty Stunning Lip Paint and the Too Faced Melted Matte. And these 
two formulas have the highest amount of pigment that I ever seen in one liquid lipstick. They are truly out of this world and in both of these I definitely, although you will not see it in the application, I will definitely use a lip pencil with any of these and then I will apply the, the lipstick with a brush because they are so 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 pigmented. So these are definitely two other formulas to look out for. I would like to leave you with three tips for the application. The first one is that if the formula is very liquidy, like the NARS one, or if the shade is very intense or very different from your natural lip color, it's best to really, before the application, use a lip liner to defy your perfect shape, the shape that you want to have because the liquid lipsticks dry very quickly and therefore if you make a mistake it's much more difficult to correct it because by nature these products are very pigmented so when you start to, to try to remove you will basically tint the area around it where you normally already have some foundation applied. This is also a good tip if you have very fine lines leaving your vermilion border with the lip liners you avoid that before drying any of the liquid lipstick goes through those fine lines and makes the application less precise. The second tip is the less product you apply the fast it will dry, it will wear longer and it will transfer less and also it will be more comfortable on your lips. My suggestion is always when you are picking up a DOFA applicator, for instance this one from Uda, remove the excess of the process, sorry, remove the excess of the product, apply on the borders of the lips next to the lip definer if you applied one and push the remaining product to the center of your lips. You can also use your fingers but personally I don't like because the ends get all tinted with the colors. The third tip is that after application don't smack your lips like this before the product is completely dry because when you do this sometimes what we'll do is to remove product from one of the sides of the lips and will stick to the other and you will end up with patches. And finally a tip for removal. If by any chance you have to uh, take very often the lipstick and change it or if your lips are very sensitive I would advise you to apply a little bit of any type of oil like this one is from the ordinary it's the marula one and I apply it on a cotton bud I apply a little bit on the lipstick let it act and dissolve the ingredients of the lipstick and then I'll use a cotton pad with Bioderma and then the liquid lipstick will come off very quickly and easily. And the soothing oils will help to keep the lips moisturized and without any peeling. If you have never tried a transfer-proof liquid lipstick, I hope this video has encouraged you to give it a go. And if you are a liquid lipstick lover, I hope I have suggested to you a new formula or a new shade that you might like to try. Also, if you have a liquid lipstick formula and shade that you absolutely love and I haven't mentioned here, which is more than probable, please leave it below in the comments for us all. I really would love to hear your suggestions and perhaps try them. I would like to thank you for the time that you have just spent with me and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and perhaps you might also like the video that I did on the Chantecaille Lip Veil formula and also the ones that I did on the fabulous Lisa Eldridge Velvet Lipsticks. I will place the links below in this video's description on the cards above and also in the end card. I would like to thank you once more. Until next time, bye!